Scientists are investigating a new coronavirus variant in India. They're calling a double mutant. Using a genetic database, ABC 10 News found that variant has also been detected here in California. But what exactly is a double mutant and how did it form? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth. India is in the midst of a big surge, reporting five times as many daily COVID infections as last month. Most of the spike is happening in the affluent state of Maharashtra. And when health officials looked at the viral sequences, they found 15 to 20 percent of the cases in that state belonged to a new variant. We have seen this double mutant E484Q and L452R. The term double mutant took off online, but it's a little misleading, says UC San Diego virologist Dr. Davy Smith. The virus has uh, mutates all the time and makes lots of mutations, and some of those mutations, more than one of those mutations might occur on the same virus. Um, and we know that this is coming, and this is just how evolution works. All of the variants you've heard about, UK, South Africa, Brazil, have multiple mutations, between 5 and 11 mutations just in their spike proteins. The significance of this double mutant is that it has two important mutations in one important region, the spot on the virus that actually attaches to cells. That spot is also the best target for antibodies. Why that's concerning is that as we all get vaccinated and we start developing antibodies, perhaps these mutations make it uh, more likely for us to get uh, infected even after a vaccine. None of that's really uh, borne out in uh, real life, so to speak, but scientists are looking at it. These two important mutations are called E484Q and L452R. The numbers refer to their position in the viral sequence. Both had been detected in people before, but not together. One mutation emerged in India. The other is a trait in the California variant. So there's two different ways that this could happen. One is a virus just goes along and it makes a mutation and it likes it and it then makes another mutation later on and it likes it. And that would just be double mutations over time. Dr. Smith says the other possibility is that one person got infected with two different variants at roughly the same time. And inside their cells, the virus replicated with bits of both. Some viruses, um, can recombine and that means taking a little bit of genetic material from one of the variants and then genetic material from another one of the variants to make a new offspring. Scientists still need to learn a lot more about the double mutant before deciding if it's worth classifying as a variant of concern. But it's not just in India. Using a genetic database built by Scripps Research, we found there have been at least 13 cases of the so-called double mutant in the U.S., including 10 in California. The first was found in Los Angeles on January 8th, but it hasn't been detected in the states since March 6th, suggesting it's not yet taking off. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.